What's up, everyone? My name is Gothics, or you can call me Vanessa. I don't care really what you call me as long as I know that you're talking to me. Anyway, uh, I woke up this morning to find one of my X posts, formerly known as Twitter posts, tweets, uh, has gained 2.6 million views, which I'm flattered. Um, and so I want to talk about <laughs> why this tweet has gone viral and uh, just ask some questions because I'm confused. So for context, we're going to go over to the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So uh, I responded to Grums. Uh, and if you don't know who Grums is, he's been really good at reporting a lot of the nonsense within the gaming industry as of late. If you know anything about gaming, you've probably heard of this person. And and so I'm on X scrolling in the morning and I start seeing people talking about black girl gamers, which that name holds a, a spot in my heart. It will always hold a, a sore spot in my heart because Black Girl Gamers was essentially a part of my wake up moment. That and also the cookout, which I don't think the cookout is even a thing anymore. Um, but there was a lot of overlap between um, the members of both communities. And so when I when I saw this person talking about Black Girl Gamers, naturally, I had to investigate and see what they're talking about. And apparently, um, they, uh, the group, Black Girl Gamers, are, they're threatening legal action against a, a news outlet. And this news outlet is simply reporting the news. You know, actual journalism. I know this is a foreign concept to a lot of people. Perhaps you forgot what journalism is. But yes, you're just relaying the truth to the audience. And so I'm looking at these articles uh, from that park place and I'm reading these articles and I see nothing wrong they're literally repeating quotes that were taken from previous interviews that included J. Ann Lopez who is the uh the founder of Black Girl Gamers and um and so Black Girl Gamers thought that that was so highly inappropriate and you know you are uh you are trying to make our organization look bad and so they threaten legal action for some strange, bizarre reason on social media. And, you know, if, if they're simply just repeating what you're saying, I see no grounds to even threaten legal action. It makes no sense. But how dare you? <laughs> Black girl gamers, come here. Come closer. Come closer. Come here. How dare you? <laughs> just to give you guys some context here, because I'm looking at some of these comments and a lot of people are adding things in to my tweet that I didn't actually say, um, you know, and silly me, I thought that if I tweet something out, you know, people will understand what I'm saying. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I should have learned from my mistakes before, but obviously I haven't. So let me clarify about my uh, affiliation with Black Girl Gamers. I was never hired for their consulting firm, okay? Uh, because when we had our falling out, they were still laying the groundwork for the consulting firm that it is today. I was recruited to be a member of their community. I was uh, recruited to be a member of their stream team. I collaborated on videos for their platforms, for their Twitch channel. All that to say, you can see the fruits of their rhetoric just based on their actions. You know, if you are a platform that claims to care about diversity and it's a safe space, well, I didn't feel very safe, my darlings. Oh no, this isn't a safe space. This is a cult. Okay. If you really want to know what BGG is about, simply look at their timeline, look at their Twitter account, look at the crap that they are regurgitating online. These are not people who care about uplifting one another. No, they care about cultivating an ideological cult and kicking people out if they don't toe the line. You know, it's always baffling to me when companies who claim to be all for diversity and inclusion and amplifying black voices do the exact opposite. First of all, it is retarded to say that you want to create a space just for black people because you know damn well that if <laughs> the whites <laughs> did the same thing, racist. So you see there's a double standard here. 
This is this sort of like virtue signaling moral superiority of like, oh, we are the the uh, the bastions of of diversity and inclusion. It's all topical and it's nothing actually um it's nothing that actually matters because the only diversity that actually matters is diversity of thought, which you guys clearly do not have. It is impossible to claim that you are all about tolerance because everyone is intolerant to something. Clearly you're intolerant to me and I'm intolerant to stupidity. <laughs> so it doesn't make any sense. I, I'm looking at my social media here and I'm seeing a lot of a lot of posts from people. Let me just search this really quick because I thought this was hilarious. If I search Gothics TV anti-black on X, this you you will get <laughs> So this is my header <laughs> on uh on X. And um again, if you know my my backstory, you know that I got canceled as a Twitch streamer because I questioned why people were calling everyone else racist if they had a problem with Disney casting a black woman to play Ariel. So I said on Twitter, I said, can we just not call people racist for questioning why Ariel is black now? And instantly I'm anti-black. So, you know, I'm looking at this and, I, and I'm seeing just repeatedly people calling me anti-black and their metric of which they are using to determine that I'm anti-black is this <laughs> is this header that I have on Twitter. I mean, first of all, is the meme wrong? Is it wrong? Did you not take sloppy seconds of a pre-existing character for your diversity agenda? Oh, representation. You'll take the scraps of the white characters and then claim that you've made it. But we don't want to talk about that, clearly, right? We don't, we don't want to, no. That's anti-black of me to point out. And not to mention how silly it is to imply that people of my skin complexion can't take a joke. You don't like that joke? All right, it's not for you. Find a different comedian. The second you have to start filtering comedy through political correctness, it becomes propaganda. It's, you, you are essentially helping push for more censorship. You're trying to eradicate certain ideas and opinions from the public square, all behind the guise of diversity and inclusion. For as much as people spend online, I mean, I've, I've looked at my uh, Twitter account. It's like people have been arguing with themselves for the past 24 hours. You could use that time to pick up a book. You know, I always recommend The Naked Communist. It talks a lot about what I'm mentioning right now. And you could also try the Bible. That would be a really great start. <laughs> um, a lot more other things you can do that are far more productive than just screaming out into the void. But hey, what do I know? I'm just the self-hating, tap-dancing grifter on the internet. Speaking of which, one thing that I noticed when I had my wake-up moment and I received all this vitriol from these people is that... I was making my skin color into an idol. Anything that you put above God becomes your idol. That is the thing that you give the most attention to. That is the thing that you worship. Everyone worships something. You can't escape it. So these people are saying anti-black, anti-black, anti-black. It's like, it's literally copy and paste. These people live off of slogans, anti-black. So you're assuming that there is some type of a religious doctrine of blackness. So what is it? Where is the standard of blackness? In what way should I be thinking and speaking and interacting in the world? If you're saying that I am anti-black, then that assumes that there is some type of standard. Who gets to write that standard? Who? Is it Al Sharpton? Is it Black Lives Matter? Is it Black Girls Gamers? <laughs> is it the collective of the black community? Well, there's your problem. Because that means that the standard of blackness and being pro-black can just, can just change at a whim. If you make a company that says, we're all about diversity and amplifying black voices, and then here I come along, and then you say, oh, you're anti-black? Okay, well, what is the metric that you are using to say that I'm anti-black? You're just making it up as you go. You know, cut the crap, man. You just make up these rules and regulations about what blackness is, but at the end of it all, it means 
nothing. So who makes the standard for anti-blackness? Who makes a standard for pro-blackness? And why should I care about my blackness anyway? My identity is not my blackness. My identity is who God says I am. And for those who don't know God, you make a God out of your skin color. And when you make an organization that says this is a space for black women or black folks now, because now we're also including trans women, so men, so I don't, honestly, I can't keep up. When you make a group that says this is for this type of skin color only, you have no grounds to complain that other people of other skin colors can do the same thing. But here's the thing, my friends, I don't see the world through a racial lens. I used to, but I refuse to do it now. I voted for Obama because he was black. I didn't know anything about his policies. I just voted for him because he's black. Talk about supporting black businesses. Eh, don't ask any questions about whether or not the business is good or not, or whether or not the policies are good. If he's got a brown face, we gotta vote for him, duh. But when it really comes down to it, the only diversity that matters is diversity of thought. I disagree with a lot of my viewers. You know, we, we have friendly conversations and we'll bounce different ideas back and forth. And sometimes I'll end live streams knowing that we still walked away disagreeing. But at the end of the day, we're, we still see the humanity in one another. You know, I do not agree with anything that Black Girl Gamers is doing. I don't agree with anyone that thinks that they are somehow going to eradicate hatred from the world by having shouting matches on Twitter and calling everyone anti-Black or heaven forbid, transphobic. <laughs> you know, I don't agree with them, but I don't hate them. I see the humanity in them. And I was blind and eventually I woke up. And I think that the type of backlash that this group is getting might cause people to wake up. And I hope that's the case. You know, I really, I really hope so. But yeah, guys, that's all I wanted to say about this topic, you know, the whole reason I decided to make this video isn't to rehash the drama because trust me, all of that is already included in my documentary. I don't need to endlessly talk about the same things over and over and over again. But when I first got kicked out of BGG, no one would listen to me. I mean, there were people that stood by me, but the people that were in that community, no one wanted to hear it. It is literally an ideological cult. So I hope that this video will encourage you if you are a part of BGG or any community for that matter, where you feel as though you have to kowtow to all of their nonsensical talking points, don't believe that. Don't do it leave. Yeah, they, they might call you anti-black and transphobic and this, that, and the other. Are you really going to live your life based on the opinions of others? Like, honestly, think about that for a second. These are people who I trusted and then they turned on me the second that I wasn't parroting their script. And if they can do that to me, they can do that to you. Okay. There's, there's a popular phrase about how the left always eats their own. And I think there's a lot of truth to that. Granted, the right does it too, but there's a lot of truth to that. So yeah, that's all I really wanted you guys to think about. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit the like and subscribe button and make sure you check out the Gothics documentary. You can find more information on that at gothicsfilm.com. Uh, it's currently streaming on Lore. It will hopefully be available to stream on Amazon Prime Video soon. Hoping that they actually approve it. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, I, I will see you next time. Bye. Disney has found the new Ariel. Taking on the iconic role and becoming the first black Ariel. Ariel, the Little Mermaid, is going to be black. Drown mad about it. White people are big mad about a black woman portraying Ariel. Racist ass behavior needs to be called out. I guess Ariel is of Norwegian descent, or is it Swedish or something? Guys, it's let's time go. For, yeah, for Come something on. different. Seeing people automatically say, okay, the reason you have a problem with this is because you're racist is, is an issue for me. I always thought the same way. Like me, I'm a big comic book fan. To me, what comes first is a great character before their ethnicity, because that's not what defines you. I chimed in, I said, we need to stop doing this. None of the messages and DMs or comments I got were actually constructive. Everything was 
I was trying to appease the white folks. I'm talking in a matter of 24 hours, I became an anti-black streamer who hates black women, who supports racists and white supremacists, spreads harmful rhetoric for the black community. I think a lot of people cut a loose today. And hey, people gave you the rope. She be putting on whole ass minstrel shows. And it's sad because I used to like her. They would chat while I'm live to persuade my viewers to unfollow me and stop supporting me because I was quote unquote an anti-black. Despite me taking sporadic days off here and there, I think it's time for me to take a break break. I hope that I can bounce back from this cloud that's happening right now because I don't I don't like the feeling what's up y'all I hope everyone is adjusting to this dumpster fire of a year or whatever the hell is left of it at this point so this video is going to be very different from my normal content, and I suspect I'm going to piss off a lot of people. 